Hello, my name is Ricky and you are watching Lowe's How To Anything. Now today I'm very excited because we are gonna paint some cabinets and that is what we use an airless sprayer for. This is for bigger jobs, fences, cabinets, things like that. If I were doing something smaller, like a tabletop or a door, I would use the HVLP, but it's time for the airless to shine today. So grab yourself a pair of latex gloves, put them on, and what we're gonna do first is we are going to prime these cabinets. Now after we prime them, we are going to paint them. Now we also want to strain our paint and primer because we don't want any debris getting into the sprayer. That will cause havoc on our whole project. So very important to strain your paint. All right, now let's get this little puppy ready to spray. So what we're gonna do first is grab ourselves a little bit of water in a bucket and that will go in our outlet hose. So this is our outlet hose, this is our inlet hose. The inlet hose goes into your paint or primer, whatever you're using, and the outlet hose goes into the bucket of water. So when we turn on the machine, the paint will flow all the way through the machine into the outlet hose. Now when you have the machine and you're ready to spray, make sure this prime and spray switch, we wanna put it on prime and then turn it on. Okay, I know you're excited, you wanna to get to that cabinet, but before we do that, we need to practice. So we got a piece of cardboard set up here for us to practice. So this is the new sprayer that comes included. We take the tip, which is called a reversible tip, stick it in there, tighten it. The reason why it's called a reversible tip is it helps clear any clog that you have. If you happen to be spraying and you get a clog, you turn it this way and it will clear your clog. Turn it back and now you're ready to spray. Now again, before we spray, let's be safe. We need goggles, of course, to protect our eyes, and we need a respirator to protect our lungs. All right, now we're ready to practice. Sprayer set up, our gun is assembled, so let's get going. So important to do is when you're spraying, make sure you overlap each stroke at least 50%. You also wanna keep an equal distance every time you continue to spray. If your spray seems to be off, too light or too heavy, there is a PSI wheel on there that you need to adjust. It'll give you more pressure or less pressure. I think we're ready to do the cabinet now. I removed the doors, labeled the hinges, and now we're gonna put on the first coat of primer. So now we're done with our two coats of primer on our cabinet. Before we strain and put the paint in, we have to clean out the machine. So we're gonna get a bucket of soapy water, put the inlet valve in there, and a clear bucket of water to put the outlet valve in there. And what we have to do is take the primer switch and flip it up into prime so we can get the soapy solution to go right through the machine, out here, clean it up, and then run clean water through it. And we're good to go. Now the moment has come to finally paint our cabinet. And that's it, cabinet's done. Looks beautiful, all thanks to our airless sprayer. Now just remember, anything you need for your next paint project, you can find at Lowe's or Lowe's.com. And if you're having a hard time finding something at Lowe's, just download the Lowe's app and use Map Search, and it'll help you find anything you need. In the meantime, please subscribe and like and comment down below. Let us know what project you want us to do next. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.